Hi everyone, it's Andy from Hobby Headquarters and I've got a cool new kit to share with you today. Today I'm going to share with you the very first sample of Amusing Hobby's brand new 35th scale kit. This right here is the US main battle tank M1 Abrams X. And if you're not familiar with that, it's because it's not a a real tank in the sense that we have them yet but this is what if everything goes right will be the main battle tank for the US Army going on into the 2030s so it's a state-of-the-art new uh, everything basically on it and the kit from Amusing Hobby is really nice looking inside it'll have on the very first production run a metal barrel some 3d printed parts there's photo etch in there and a lots of slide molding really nicely detailed parts on all this Best part of all is we have this at a very special pre-order price. If you go on our website right now, you can pre-order this. It'll be here sometime in late November, we're saying. Maybe a little bit earlier, but shipping times are a little crazy at this time of year. But for late November, you can get this beautiful kit for $45.99 on pre-order. It's a special price just until uh, the middle of November. Uh, and it's... Wait till you see it. I'm going to take you over to the bench right now, open up all the parts, show you all the bonus features that are inside of this. I think you'll be very impressed with it. And also, I did a little searching myself on it, and I'll talk a little bit about the real vehicle and what it will be if it comes about. Uh, but you might want to take a look on the computer yourself. Up until this kit was coming out, I actually never heard of this, but it's really kind of a cool bunch of features that are going to be on this new tank if they finally make it. But if not, you will have the model kit for yourself. So, so there you go. Let's, uh, let's go over to the bench and take a look at all these cool parts. So let's get started. Okay guys, here we are. Here we have the box art for the brand new Amusing Hobbies US main battle tank, the M1 Abrams X. Uh, beautiful artwork by Jason. And a little quick information about the, it is a prototype right now. It's not 100% approved or anything. And obviously all this information can change as, it's, as it you know gets further along. The, the vehicle, if it goes into production, is due to come out in the 2030. So it's still a little ways away. It is going to be in comparison to what it is now. The Abrams now is about a 70 ton vehicle and the Abrams X will be about a 60 ton vehicle. They're gonna be using all kinds of new composite materials uh, for armor protection, which in theory will lighten the vehicle and make the vehicle faster and maybe a little bit more maneuverable as well. From what I've read, the actual turret is going to be manless, so there'll be no one actually inside the actual turret, so I'm sure there'll be auto loaders and all the sensors and all that are up there, so that keeps a, a human being out of the turret, so if the turret gets shot, less likely for a U.S. soldier to get killed inside that. It'll have the ability to launch and control attack drones, which you can see up here in the corner. Uh, Amusing includes one of the switchback drones on it, and this one will be able to, to launch them and send them out on a mission, basically. Another crazy thing is, too, it will supposedly going to have fire course correction ammunition, meaning it can change the course of the ammunition as it's flying through the air. Uh, crazy, crazy concept, but uh, it will most likely have that if it can work out the way they say. Whole new set of next generation sensors and things like that, plus AI command and control. So artificial intelligence uh, taking over how the vehicle runs. Uh, you guys thinking uh, this is how Terminator starts with all that extra technology there. But that just gives you a quick little rundown about the real vehicle. Uh, once again, it's still in prototype phase. We don't know what's actually going to happen or if it ever actually going to come to fruition or not. But pretty cool to to think about it now that i've talked about all that let's take a look at the sprues inside okay guys let's jump right in first and foremost we have our bathtub style hall here let you look at the the quality and detail that they've put into this let's see up close the detail in here just like that we've got the two main pieces that make up the turret now, there are still edges of sprue on here that this is how it actually came. So you'd have to cut those off, but that's why it's not fitting together 100%, and it's because of the burr is still on there. But let's actually, I'm going to pull these apart and let you see 
what the top of the Abrams X turret looks like. You can see all these areas here where all the new sensors will be. Hatches. Things like that. And then, of course, the bottom will slide right up inside just like that. Sandwiched together there. Okay, next up, we've got a bunch of accessories here. Now, this is going to have a little bit of everything on here, including the barrels, which are slide molded for this portion of it. Keep in mind, though, there is a turned aluminum barrel in the, the first run. So I'll show you that in a few moments, but just to let you know about that. Plus, it's a hollowed out barrel. I'm not quite sure what size this is, if this is going to be 30, 30 millimeter chain gun up on top, but that is all hollowed out as well like the diffuser for the exhaust back there let you closely look at this stuff go next up we have our clear parts I think these are the center hub for the wheels that's why you got so many of those down there and there are all of the clear parts for it and final sprues are the tracks now, there is a lot of pieces for the tracks. I'm not going to deny that. But looking at them, don't think it's actually going to be that difficult to actually assemble them. Uh, it's going to be obviously a little work cleaning them off right here, cutting off all the parts. But it's a, basically a sandwich effect. So you put the, uh, the bottom pad down. You put the brackets in the middle right there. After you cut those off in between the two sets of tracks. And then you sandwich the, the top. Oh, actually, that's the bottom. That's the top. There's the top pad. And then there's the inside with the guide horn on it. So it's just a sandwiching effect. They do give you a guide right here in the middle of it to put that on there. Uh, I don't know, but I'm assuming they look very similar to the Abrams track. So maybe even regular Abrams tracks might work on this thing too if you had some, some aftermarket metal ones or something like that. But there we go. And you will get four sets of sprues for the tracks on that. Okay, now I wanna show you all of the accessory parts that are coming on this kit. Now, first of all, the metal barrel and this metal tube right here, I believe this metal tube, it might be for the gun. I'm not positive on that, but we'll have to look in the instructions when we get to that point. So the very first production run is going to have the turned aluminum barrel in it and this metal tubing inside of it here, either for the antennas or the guns, but that is included inside this kit. Plus there is going to be on the initial production, 3D printed parts. So here is the, uh, the muzzle for the main gun and you see how nicely that's done up in 3d printing and also for the chain gun we've got uh hopefully you can see it the, the, the pink resin right here is not the most uh ideal to show off on camera but the chain gun bullets as they go into the gun are included that in 3d printing and oh yeah there's that i, I guess that is for the gun because here's the muzzle brake for the gun too some parts for the 3D printed on the gun. I'm not gonna take those out because I don't wanna break them, but if you can see, hopefully, the fine little drill out holes on that. So all of that stuff has come on the initial run, and also you'll get some photo etch in on this kit. Now, like I said earlier, this kit, we've got it on a very special pre-order uh, pre price of $45.99. And if you take advantage of the first run, which is, you know, you get the pre-order pre price on it, you're gonna get all of the bonus accessories inside here too, the metal barrel, the 3D printing. This comes in all of the kits right here, but all those other things are an added bonus. And at $45, $46, call it, with this kit, that is an extremely good price on this. And finally, like I always do, I'm gonna show you the instructions and how they look in here. And I will be quiet for a few minutes and let you look at the step-by-step -step instructions on how this goes together.
just notice it. Uh, if you notice down here in the bottom here, I guess it's going to have the trophy system, which is like the Israeli tanks have on it. That's interesting on that. There is the little switchback drone. Switchblade, not, I keep saying switchback, switchblade drone. I'm sorry about that. Switchblade drone. And finally, since it's only available as a prototype right now, they've got it done up like in an olive green color, but you could honestly put it in any color you want because it's your model, so. So there you go, guys. There is a look at the brand new, soon to be released Amusing Hobbies main battle tank, the M1 Abrams X. And from what I understand right now, they're, they're obviously they're done because I have a, a test shot here or a sample copy of it. And from what I understand, it's shipping out within the next couple of days on our container. So we should have it hopefully we're going to say late november they should be here maybe a little bit earlier than that but late november is is a good time frame to, to call it for this because shipping backs up a little bit this time of year with the holidays coming up and at the price of 45.99 it's on our website right now for pre-order at andyshhq.com uh, definitely take advantage of the special price and all of the bonus features that come inside of that because i don't think this kit is going to last very long on the shelves so there you go, guys. I want to take this opportunity to thank you as always for watching. And please stay tuned because I have many more videos coming.